as the title suggests, this is an unboxing of EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to our studio, aka factory warehouse, where we're gonna be unboxing a big boy, EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. Let's do it. So let's take a look at what we actually have. And let's get started with a few things that are, that is not an inverter, not a battery, some accessories and whatever it comes with. Um, let's talk about the cables first. So we're looking at the solar charge cable. So on one side we have a CP30 connector and on another side we have an MC4. And we're also looking at the very hefty, like very thick high gauge AC charging cable. So pretty standard, you probably need this later on. We're also looking at the chassis frame for the wheels right here and the wheels that are actually attachable there. You get the point. And of course, we also have some paper that comes with it. So we're looking at the quick start guide. Definitely read it. Safety instructions, most important thing. Commercial flyers, keep it. And a warranty card, you need that too. And one more little detail is that it comes with a little multi-purpose wrench. So you guys can guess what it's for. Let me know in the comments though. And finally, the most important thing, or one of two most important things, is an inverter itself. Let's try to pull it out. Oh, yeah, my membership in the gym paid for it, so um, we got it, it's manageable, you know. Now let's get to the second most important part, the battery itself. So here is the battery, and battery, of course, comes with a lot of important papers as well. And the cable that connects the inverter and the battery. Very flat, very flexible. Battery, I'm probably gonna break my back. So, oh, it's noticeably heavier than the inverter itself. So that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. We're gonna have a battery, we're gonna have stackable inverter on top of it. And now we have already successfully assembled the wheels and a chassis so uh, you know you can play with it like with a skateboard uh, it also has brakes so your delta doesn't roll away from you so stays in place and it's kind of helpful for you to move it around your driveway or your garage or anything so let's put it on this one goes on Is that right? Oh, I see. Now it clicks in place. Very smooth, very perfect. Woo. Super good. And on. There you go. Let me grab a cable real quick. I'll show you how to connect it right here. So right now, if you try to turn it on, it doesn't work because the battery is not connected. Let's connect it. Oh, what a bad design. You cannot connect it, gets in the way. It's actually not. It's a smart design. Those are small drawers that I'm making this process a lot more convenient. This one goes on, this one goes in. Clicks in place, there is a little clicker right here, a little button, but you can also use a screwdriver to lock it in place. So there is no way to pull it out, no matter how. And now is the moment of truth. Let's try to turn it on. Ta-da! Works! It's almost fully charged. Um, so yeah, there it is. Your extra powerful EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra unboxed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at what are we dealing with in terms of hardware. And we'll get started with the uh, DC hardware and of course first of all USB type-c Revolutionary brand new type-c according to iPhone 15 I guess 
that's just incredible. But hey, in EcoFlow, we used to have Type C's forever. So it's a high output Type C over 100 watt. Uh, not actually over 100 watt, just 100 watt. Uh, we also have a couple of USB Type A's if you still have some equipment there. Uh, and few separate buttons, so AC. We also have DC to turn on the DC module separately. And in here, behind these doors, there are a few interesting things. And let's get started with the... I mean, it's not broken. It's designed to be like this. So there are hinges and you can take it off. You can take all of them off, no problem, and click them back in place. And by the way, they also have a little magnets here so they fit real well. So we have pretty standard four AC outlets. We also do have 30 ampere AC outlet, 120 volts. And we also have a split phase, 120 volts or 240 volts. 30 ampere NEMA port right here or uh, you guys might have seen it on some generator cords or something like this or high uh, wattage appliances this is very standard port and this is something that we never had before on our products um, and here behind this little door as the explanation says here we have an AC charger we have a ground connection we have a little switch to switch between fast charge and slow charge. Of course, it's customizable in the app, but still here is a manual switch just in case. Here is a uh, low voltage PV port. So it's a solar port where uh, you can run 1600 watts of solar in here, but low voltage solar, keep in mind. Um, and of course, Anderson port that you guys liked so much from the previous generation of Delta Pro. Last door we didn't talk about is, is this one. It's just a port with one USB A4 4G module. So basically what you do, you can uh, get a 4G modem, plug it in, and now your Delta Pro will be connected to the internet and you can control it from anywhere in the world without Wi-Fi, without Bluetooth, without anything, which is a good thing. I'm saying it still has a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all those features, but on top of it, it gives you an option not necessarily, but it's an option of having your thing connected. Now let's take a look at what we have here on the side of Delta Pro Ultra. First of all, we do have a high PV port and this is a port that we have for the very first time. It's MC4 connectors with a hard switch. But the most important thing, the VOC of this port goes up to 400 50 volts that gives you an access to a bigger arrays that gives you an access to a high voltage solar panels and you can have two solar arrays at the same time which is great news now the second port here is power in and out port and this port is mostly used to connect your delta pro ultra system to the smart home panel to power your whole house uh, next obviously the battery ports to connect the batteries and you see how well cables are designed so they're not in the way they are just very sleek so you connect one battery here you connect next battery stackable battery here and you can stack up to five batteries under one inverter and you can connect three different inverters to one smart home panel so this thing goes from six kilowatt hours all the way up to 90 kilowatt hours so it's it's a it's a power plant it's a beast Plus, there is one more thing. Remember in the beginning of the video, I asked you what is this little wrench for? This is actually for you to conveniently disconnect the MC cables from here. So instead of you reaching out with your fingers there and just making it very inconvenient and breaking your nails, you just plug it in, bang, disconnect, it goes. Super simple, super straightforward. Now, last but not least, in the back here, we do have a revolutionary modern X cooling cooling system. And we will tell you more about how it works in the video where we're gonna be disassembling the whole unit, showing you what's inside and what it's made of and how this whole cooling system works. But for now, I can tell you this, super efficient, super silent, nobody has it. And we do have it. So for now, that would be it. So guys, please subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions about Delta Pro Ultra send them in the comments we'll be glad to answer and there are more videos about Delta Pro Ultra coming 
to our channel. Last but not least, we have a massive group of over 60,000 members who are using all kind of EcoFlow Delta products. So go ahead and join that group. We'll leave the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.